Almost everything you use, your phone, your fridge, your computers, and even the radio in your car is made up of silicon chips. Around a trillion chips are made annually, which makes around 128 for each person on Earth. The Chinese government prioritizes this industry equally as its atomic bomb programs. China is trying to become self-sufficient to provide for the global technological advances of the future. It's all in these silicon chips that make the appliances work efficiently. Taiwan's semiconductor manufacturing company or TSMC is the pivotal chip producing company leading all others. It also makes customized chips for the world's most leading brands such as Apple, Nvidia, and MediaTek. All the Western countries depend on Taiwan in this regard. Any shortage in this company in Taiwan can halt the production of equipment in every other global tech. Taiwan is a self-governing island, but China claims and wants to take over Taiwan even forcefully. At the same time, China itself relies on Taiwan, which already has close links with the US for being its chip importer. Many countries are investing billions of dollars to compete with TSMC and to be less reliant on Taiwan. The chips work because of extremely small transistors, which are 1000, 000, 000 times smaller than a meter. Even smaller than a virus, and it is underworking to achieve the size of an atom. Insane. The smaller the transistors will be, the more of them will fit in a chip, thus making it more efficient. However, this process is extremely complicated and expensive. That is why the number of companies in this industry has fallen from over 25 to just 3 in the last two decades. Around $15 to $20 billion are required just to build a single semiconductor factory. The money is not the problem, the problem is that it needs to work 24 hours, 7 days a week, to make hundreds of billions of products annually and sell them at really high prices, to make it profitable as well. Lately, the American leading company, Intel has declined its production of chips and announced that it may rely on TSMC for importing products. Samsung's chip-making department focuses more on memory chips rather than custom-made ones. That is the reason TSMC is now leading overall, by taking custom orders from Apple and other great companies worldwide. It has the best technology, logistics, and engineers. Although Samsung and Intel have recently invested a big amount in their business, they still cannot threaten the supremacy of TSMC because it's already decades ahead. Then there's China. It has weakened relations with all, Taiwan, United States, and South Korea. Many of the equipment and software are provided by US companies to TSMC and Samsung for producing chips. These equipments are crucial for cutting and making the chips. Recently, the US banned exports of technical equipment to Chinese semiconductor companies by pointing them as a security threat to the country. Around 60 Chinese companies have suffered after this decision including Huawei, which reported a decline in its revenue for the first time. By now, TSMC has reduced its supply to China by 70%. America perceived China as a threat because of technological advances. They already are considered military rivals. China is the largest buyer of chips in the world already, also the manufacturer of not-so-advanced chips as well. It also supplies chips to some American companies including Qualcomm. As the US ace ban on China has made it suffer, at the same time, the Chinese private sector companies are also reacting to lift this ban. This ban is not supposed to last long, since most of the countries are dependent on China for the manufacturing of several electronics, including iPhones. The supply chain of Apple involves China where the chip is connected to the system of iPhone and completed. The effort of the USA to avoid China from being involved in this process has guided its government to take steps to become self-reliant in terms of foreign technology. Chinese president has aimed to invest $1.4 trillion for technology advancements of China in its recent NPC meeting. The famous private Chinese company SMIC has undergone a public-private partnership with the government for $2.5 billion, aiming to work on chip manufacturing. Although SMIC is way behind TSMC in success, the Chinese government is determined to provide it with the money and resources to add to its future success. However, it is still considered a failure. This again proves that creating a competitor of TSMC is not an overnight task. 
It needs a lot of effort and time. TSMC is a result of more than three decades of continuous effort. It has developed a whole economy of chip packaging companies around it. It's the highest paying industry in Taiwan, so the colleges and students are putting most of their efforts to study and research semiconductor manufacturing processes. On the other hand, US students put more effort into computer sciences, and Chinese students like to study app development as for companies like Tencent, Baidu, and Alibaba. The Chinese government is now stressing over students going into fields of AI and hard sciences. It has catered to this lack of talent by hiring from abroad, mostly from Taiwan. This has threatened the USA as the Taiwanese talent is moving into China. It has opened an IP theft case against China, accusing that it is using these engineers to steal Micron trade secrets from the Taiwanese industry. However, even if China is successful in creating a chip manufacturing company, it will take a long time to create customers that TSMC already has. So currently, it is unable to think of a world without TSMC in it. Since the start of the pandemic, the work shifted from offices to homes that required good technology devices. The increased demand for manufacturing of these devices, in other words, was the demand for a high supply of chips. This made the US sign advanced deals with Samsung and TSMC for importing chips. This led to a shortage of these silicon chips for other purposes, especially in China. This acted as a wake-up call for China to be independent technologically. Suppose, if China succeeds, this will create two great technology rivals with China on one hand and the US on the other, hence leading to the bipolarization of the world. This will have a great impact on global trade, as well as on the advancement of humankind. What's your perspective on the situation? We would love to hear from you in the comment section. Like the video, share it, and subscribe to Success Dose for more.